Hey guys, I'm Kimmy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my Dyson Supersonic Professional Edition hair dryer that I'm super, super excited about. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of the features and benefits um, about the dryer and then go over what's inside the box. And also, I've purchased a couple of accessories as well to go with my dryer. Um, so I'm going to go over that with you guys as well. So first things first, um, this was a bit of an investment and it took me a while to um, make the plunge. Um, it's $499 Canadian before tax, but because you have to be a licensed professional to make the purchase for this um, series of dryer, you have to give your license number and then they give you a little bit of a discount depending, I think, where you live. I don't know exactly what the discount is, um, maybe depending province to province. So I was able to get a little bit of a discount because I am a licensed professional, um, so it did help. So this is the actual dryer, um, the body of the dryer. So the great thing about this design is that it's all, um, all the weight distribution is in the handle. So it's engineered and designed for balance. So they really took into mind like how the consumer uses the product and how the everyday hairstylist is moving with this tool. Um, so I've already noticed a difference using this dryer a couple times already and I could really pinpoint like parts of my body where I was starting to have issues with um, using my previous hair dryers. So it makes such a big difference and it's definitely a game changer. Um, it is a little bit odd that the top of the dryer is so short now that when you're doing blowouts it's really hard to roll the hair. Um, especially like even with the nozzles on. So it does come with two nozzles. comes with this concentrator which has like the flatter head and then it comes with this smoothing nozzle which is a little bit wider. And it also comes with um, this diffuser. So this is supposed to be a really, really, really good diffuser. Um, I haven't tried it on curly hair yet, but it's supposed to be like the best one on the market. And, you know, Dyson makes amazing products, so I totally believe it. Comes with this um, non-slip heat mat that you can use and an extra filter for this bottom part here. So another difference in this dryer from your traditional is the filter is at the bottom, not at the back, because this is totally like hollow. Um, so when you're cleaning this one out, pop in the new one. And also there's this brush for the filter to clean it out like that. And comes with this little storage hanger, but I don't think I'm a fan of it. Seems like really, really like flimsy. And I'm gonna turn it on so that you guys can hear the noise level. So, Cause it's supposed to be tuned um, differently from your traditional dryer. It does sound different. So I'm gonna turn it on and you guys can tell me. So that's on mass. And then I'm going to just lower it and that's the softest um, power setting. I'm going to turn it up again. So that's as loud as it gets. So Another difference in the design of this product is the cool shot button is at the back of the handle. Um, traditionally, cool shot buttons are in the front and all you have to do is press with your index finger, but because this is on the back, it's a little bit odd for me because I don't know if I have like a short thumb or like a small hand or if I'm just not placing my hand high enough because I like gripping the dryer um, about like right here, I guess, but like when I'm in the blow drying motion for like a round brush. 
it feels a little bit odd that I have to hold down like this for the cool shot button so I'm still not used to that yet but can I tell you guys oh my god this dries my hair so much faster I put it on um, the max um, power setting and the max um, heat setting and I have medium to high density hair. I don't I don't think I have high density hair, but like in terms of like thickness of my hair, I think I'm like at a medium density. And um because my hair has my hair is not that it's a little bit past a mid length. Um doesn't usually take me super duper long to dry my hair, but with this I definitely notice a big difference in blow drying time and it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry and crispy but with that being said I do use product um, but I noticed with cheaper hair dryers um, like drugstore brands or like even like those really cheap ones and hotels that are attached to the walls they really really like dry out my hair and like make it feel crispy and almost like fried off so that doesn't happen with a dryer with the Dyson dryer. It's um, 1600 watts, which is industry standard, but because they have like some smart chip technology and all this other like stuff that I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe, but like it, the airflow design is supposed to help dry your hair faster and make it smoother and shinier and etc. So I've noticed a difference. So definitely um, a game changer. Um, a couple of other accessories that I did buy with it is first this stand. The stand is a little bit extra, but I figured why not? It's nice to hold the dryer and it's like kind of like a dis nice display for the dryer. So I hold the body like that. And then you can clip on your nozzles. So another feature that is great about the Professional Edition is that the magnetic strength is double the strength than that of the consumer version. So um, you don't have to worry about your nozzle flying off mid blow dry when you're doing a client because they've designed it with double the strength. So it's really strong if you... It'll take like a lot of force to like, you know, get that off of the dryer. So that's a great thing about the Professional Edition. And I bought the storage bag, this like triangular storage bag. It's the, a soft um, platinum leather. I'll show you guys what's inside the box here. So I'm not actually going to use this one for my dryer. I'm going to use it for my diffuser, like my nozzles, my brushes, my like miscellaneous like items. Um, it has a magnetic top and it has a divider in the middle. The only thing that I don't, if I'm going to be fussy about this item, um, it's that the middle compartment, the divider, and the seams are, and they don't sew it at the bottom, so it, it looks a little cheap because they want it to be able to move back and forth so that you can maximize the storage in the center. They, they didn't um, sew up the seam of the fabric at the bottom. Um, that's just me nitpicking, but overall, like, it feels like great quality, feels like a durable leather so it does it it is meant for storing like your dryer so it does fit the dryer in um but i'm not going to be using it for that purpose i'm going to be using it for my miscellaneous items um i purchased the actual storage case the hard storage case for my dryer and a little bit of a story about this case Originally, I was not going to be able to get this platinum color 
um, because the gentleman that I spoke to during my first initial phone call for my order, um, he was super, super nice, but he seemed like he might have been new, and he told me that because I'm ordering the the Dyson in the professional edition, it has the longer cord. It's 3.3 meters. Um, it's not going to fit the certain boxes because he said they weren't popping up on his computer um, to match up with, I don't know, the order. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, I want the storage case because, you know, I want to protect my dryer. Um, and he said the only ones available for me was either the red or the blue. And um, just to let you guys know, some of the Dyson, like the consumer um, version, they come with limited edition, like, bundles with certain color, like, storage cases. Um, so I figured, okay, so maybe that's why. But... Um, Anyways, a couple hours later, I decided to call back because I just had this weird feeling that um, the storage cases were all the same size because online, it only showed like one dimension. didn't show like different dimensions for the different colors. So I called back and for whatever reason, they routed me to a US customer service rep and she was able to help me and told me that the Platinum was available for me in Canada and that it, it's all the same size. So I was super happy that I was able to get this case in Platinum to match my Platinum um, soft triangular storage case. So after all of that, I'm just happy that I got it in the platinum color. I, I just wanted it to be like matching. So I'm going to actually show you guys um, how much it fits just in case if you guys are curious and you guys want to buy the, the box for your professional edition. So I'm just going to unplug it first so I can fit the whole cord in. So I'm just going to like do this as quickly as I can. I'm just going to bundle up my cord here and just put it in the box. It's not going to look so neat, but I just want to show you guys. And that's what it looks like with just the dryer in, but it can fit two of the nozzles in, just not the diffuser. So I'm going to put both the nozzles in. Put them in the gap so it looks like this. Everything's just kind of tucked in there. And then I'm going to close the box up. It will close. I swear this will close. I just have to play with the cord a little bit. Doop to do. There we go. So, fits the professional dryer in with the cord with the two nozzle heads. So, um, if you're worried that it's not going to fit the professional edition, don't worry about it. It's going to fit it with the nozzles. You just have to kind of play around with the cord a little bit. But the diffuser, you're going to have to find another spot for this bad boy um, to go into. Leave some comments below if you guys have any additional, um, you know, questions about the products. And also, um, I might probably give you guys an update in the weeks to come as to, you know, how I'm loving it, how I'm feeling it out. Thanks for watching my video and bye till next time.